welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this white rabbit look inspired by Alice in Wonderland. It's one of many looks that I did for this series of Alice in Wonderland looks. If you like, hit that like button at the end and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Let's get started! So starting off with my base, I'm using a white clown cream makeup from Ben Nye and I'm just applying that with the beauty blender evenly all over my face and neck. Now taking this neutral set powder, I'm just going to make sure that I apply it all over my face covering all the cream makeup. Now taking this matte gray eyeshadow from NYX in the shade Craving Gray, I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose along with the side of my cheeks. Now using this colorful palette from Visart, I'm going to use the pink shades to start applying the eyeshadow onto my eye in an upward motion and then just gently moving that over to the side. Now taking my Pro Sculpting Crease Brush from Crown Brush, I'm just going to use this to not only create the line underneath my eye, but I'm also going to use it to blend the shadow out. Now using this purple shade from that same palette, I'm going to go ahead and start applying that in the crease using that same brush to create some depth on the top of my eye and I'm also going to be using this same method underneath. Now go ahead and blend that out. Now taking this chubby eye pencil in the shade Blizzard from Crown Brush, I'm just going to apply that to the waterline of my eye. Now using that same peak shade that we use on our eyes, I'm going to be using my Pro Sculpting Crease Brush from Crown and I'm just going to create the nose shape and I'm going to make sure that I go ahead and fill that in and then create the little mouthpiece. Now I'm taking some white eyeliner and I'm just going to kind of define that nose just to kind of make it pop a little more. And I'm going to also add a few little I don't know if they're freckles, pores, something on the side of my nose here. Pat it out. Now I'm taking this liquid lipstick in the shade Sleepy Hello from Wet n Wild Beauty. And I'm just going to be applying this on the top part of my lip. Using a lip brush, I'm just going to drag that color in an outward motion and then also creating a line going up. Now pat those babies so that bottom cream will create an ombre on the top there. And I'm going to take that same peak shade and I'm just going to apply it on the inner bottom part of my lip. Now taking this white liner from LA Splash Cosmetics in the shade Alabaster, I'm going to go ahead and create the whisker holes, I guess you would call them, <laughs> on the side. And taking this Stila Cosmetics liquid glitter eyeshadow in Diamond Dust, I'm going to apply that right underneath the eye and then I'm just going to tap it out. Just so it's not so dramatic but you have a little bit of glitter going on under there. Oh, and how much I love this stuff you guys because you don't have to apply it any kind of glue It's already a liquid glitter so you can make it more dramatic or less dramatic by applying more or less pressure To the little brush that it actually comes with so it's super cool And I'm also gonna dab that onto the bottom of my lip as well now taking that same white liner in alabaster I'm just gonna go ahead and line the top of my eye and winging that out using my favorite highlighter from Ofra Cosmetics in the shade Glazed Donut. I'm going to go ahead and snatch that nose. Taking that same white liner, I'm using it to coat my bottom lashes. Now taking this diamond glitter eyeliner in the shade Serene from LA Splash Cosmetics, I'm just going to go ahead and use it to line my bottom line there. And now I'm going to be using that same gray shadow from NYX and I'm going to be just shading in here where I've created a white line. I'm going to show you actually how I did that. Now 
Now taking that same peak shade, I'm going to start in the middle of my eyebrow and I'm going to go ahead and apply the eyeshadow and then I'm going to work it in an upward motion right in the center. Now taking that same white liner, I'm going to go ahead and create the other side. Make sure that it's even and looking good. And now I'm going to take that diamond glitter and I'm just going to apply that in that pink area and then pat it in. Taking that same gray shadow from NYX in the shade Craving Gray, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we shade on the inside. And now the final touch using that same gray lip color, I'm just going to apply my Roman numerals to the side of my face and they don't need to be in any kind of order because the white rabbit is all mixed up so just go ahead and put them however you want. Now to complete this look, I popped on my contacts from Camo Eyes and my wig from Rockstar Wigs and also threw on some other props just to really put this look together. So yeah, this is my final White Rabbit look from Alice in Wonderland. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, make sure to like the video and once again, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again.